Now let's see uh, how you can download Eclipse. So this is an uh, optional chapter for the people who are using Sublime as an editor and uh, they, they can proceed with Sublime otherwise uh, if a person wants to work on Eclipse uh, since most of the people uh, prefer working on Eclipse if they are from a Java background right so uh, you can work on Eclipse as well and there are some Python plugins available uh, for Eclipse which I'll be talking about in the next lecture so first we're gonna see how we can download Eclipse uh, again Eclipse is completely open source uh, we'll go to Google and type download Eclipse so from this link we can download it and again Eclipse is available for uh, OS X and Windows, Linux, all, all the operating systems, right? And we're going to download the very basic uh, Eclipse ID that is Eclipse IDE for uh, Java EE developer is there. Uh, mostly, I mean, this is a very basic one. It supports your Linux as well, right? We're going to download this one itself and then we're going to add a plugin uh, that is for uh, uh, uh python right so once you download it uh it will gonna come like this let's download it so i'm gonna download it from the nearest uh location so again it's a huge file uh somewhere around 252 MB so it will gonna take a couple of minutes uh, to complete to finish the download so I'll, I'll not gonna uh, like download it completely over here basically once it's get downloaded uh, I, I already have this file on my machine so I already uh, have uh, the clips on my machine so I'm gonna show you uh, once it gets downloaded you're gonna get couple of folders so I'm gonna cancel the download first. So if I uh, see this thing in the finder, uh, this is the the tar.gz file that you're gonna get. And once you unzip it, uh, this is your Eclipse. All right. So now uh, you there's nothing installable in Eclipse. Just double click on it. Uh, okay, it will might not run it this way you need to uh, double click just give me a moment say shift so you need to right click uh, by pressing control and uh, then click on open and then if you open it it will gonna show you the latest eclipse luna right now let it open it will gonna take a couple of seconds to open so now this location is your workspace any you can give it any anything uh, look workspace is uh, the location where you'll be maintaining your project uh, code right your project information each and everything that you'll be creating inside a project will get stored at this location so if you click on ok it will take a couple of seconds and it will gonna launch Eclipse. So this is your Eclipse and this is the first view of Eclipse, right? So this is where you'll be maintaining your project hierarchy, what all uh, what all files, Python files that you'll be adding uh, will get stored over here. Here you'll be writing a code and here you'll get the output of that code. Right now the Eclipse is not Python ready. So in the in the next lecture we're gonna see how we can add in the Python plugin to Eclipse so that we can start writing some Python code on it. All right.